Hello, hello, hello. My name is Tom Rum, and welcome to Night Bites, where we look at the little and not so little news of Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis. Now, we've got a bunch of little things going on, and we'll go over the little bits at the end, but we just got an announcement that seems pretty damn big to talk about. And I'm just going to bring it straight up and let you lot have a look at what's happening. This image. Now, you can't see it, but actually just below the image in the bottom of the screen is a Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis logo. And let's see if I can drop it down to this. And it comes with this. It seems Aerith has found something, something strange in the snow, and something is about to happen. Why does this mean anything? Why is this so important? Well, we've got a collab season coming up next month, and if you know your older Final Fantasy games, this may look really familiar as Final Fantasy VI's Valley Garmander. It looks like we're about to get some hints at what we're getting for our collab. Final Fantasy VI seems to be what we're getting in the game. Now, what reason do we have for this? Well, let's throw over to a screen where I have some extra information. This is actually how the beginning of Final Fantasy VI starts. So a bit of a spoiler that Terra and two other units, I believe it is Biggs and Wedge, uh, go through and they find a summon encased in ice. Which, just a reminder, uh, if I drop back over to the news, uh, yeah, that looks really, really similar. We knew that there was a good chance it's probably going to be Final Fantasy VI, VIII, 10 or 12 like that was like the four big ones that people predicted but Final Fantasy 6 has been one that a lot of people have wanted mainly because of some of the units in there now if it is this we've been hinted that the four units are going to be Aerith, Tifa, Cloud and Sephiroth the same as last year's collab units and it does say if we switch back over to the game view, actually to the picture, it says that Aerith has found something. Now, I just want to get, I'm going to jump back and forth. You're going to see this Terra who finds it. And actually, Terra comes across the Esper in case in ice, which would give us a good idea that Aerith potentially is going to get the the Terra outfit or cosplay or her collaboration outfit and honestly that sounds amazing i don't know about you lot but i think i can't think of a better unit in final fantasy 7 to get the terra branford outfit especially if she gets the awakened form there's an incredibly low chance but for those who don't know that uh, terra branford has an awakened uh, form, uh, let's see if I can find it. Uh, I don't know if it's going to come up. Um, form. Here we go. Transform. Terra Brownsford in her trance ability. And honestly, I don't know if she's going to get this, but it does look cool. And it's interesting that they've definitely gone down this route, especially as it's connected to Ether having access to special type of magic that is not seen and commonly used that kind of sounds a bit like Aerith doesn't it if it if we do get Final Fantasy 6 well there's three other units to consider and we had a quick discussion about this if the rumor is true that we are getting Final Fantasy 6 that would probably mean that Tifa becomes Sabin Ale Fighter now, there are other couple of units that could that Tifa could actually go into, but Sabin feels the most appropriate, especially when you realize that Sabin has, you know, actual gaunt like fist weapons. And that is something that we could see. Let's see if I can go back. Um, whoops. Uh, something we could actually potentially see in the game without too much change in prep work. The Cloud, that would give him lock. 
There's already a weapon that they can work off. It's nothing special, but they can work off of it. It's an outfit that everybody knows. But the thing that makes the most difference is because that means that we may get the one person that I've heard so many people ask for. When you talk about the top villains of Final Fantasy in general, Sephiroth comes up there. But so does Kefka. Kefka is written down as one of, I believe, two villains in all Final Fantasy that successfully can, gets away with what they want to do. And does exactly what he sets out for. So this... Ugh, we could be getting a Sephiroth in a Kefka outfit. Oh my god. Just getting anybody in a Kefka outfit is going to be so wanted. Obviously, I'll be perfectly honest, this is a lot of speculation. Like, a lot of speculation. We're working off of one image posted by the, the official Twitter, not X. But there are very few creatures that look like this. Like, if we bring up um, Valley Garmander... Valley Commander is a unit that is actually kind of well known. It started in Final Fantasy VI. It's an Esper. Espers are like house summons. And if we scroll down, you can see the sprite, which is a bit small there, but images like this, the promotional art for Valley Commander. And you can see that you've got this body with orange scales and red ends and green. And if I jump back to the image, we can see this green, this orange, and actually some rainbow patterning, which you can see this rainbow patterning and orange tips to wings that go back into something that we can't see with a crown and an orange crown of the head. Well, we just crown on the head. That is very Valley Garmander. I think we now know what our collab is going to be. How do you feel about this? Do you think this is something that you are excited for? Is this something that you wanted in the game? Let us know. Uh, but yeah, that is that is definitely something and something we weren't expecting to hear for about a week, to be perfectly honest. So we weren't expecting to make this video right now. Um, while we're here, though, let's talk about some stuff that's happening in-game. Guild Battle. Guild Battle is currently on. We're currently in the um, preparation stage. That means that you can go in. You can go into these stages and to go in and go be like, hey, build a team and do mock battle. Official battles don't open up for about 22 hours. So that is... Heads up, go and get ready for it. As of as of 22 hours, as of right now, like it's going to be about 21 hours by the time I upload this video. We have got some banners disappearing, I believe, soon. Okay, so banners are disappearing at the end of the month. We've got two banners that are going to be living, leaving at the 1st of November. We've got an event leaving on the 5th of November, which is Angel's new weapon. And actually, this is another banner that's brand new. Um, Nightlight's just come back from a holiday. I spoke to him about half an hour ago. Uh, he'll be hopefully back to do a video on this to discuss what's going on. But yeah, so we've had a new banner. Get ready to see a video about that really, really soon. Uh, we've got special, but special is nothing actually important outside of those daily pools at the moment for temples. What is important is that if we go to events, it is your warning. You've got two days left to get through Battle Tower if you haven't finished already. There's 30 floors here, 100 floors here. There's 10,000 gems locked behind this event alone. We have currently got our Critical Threat, which is our Crash event running at the moment. We have got a Guild Ranking event running at the moment. I'll actually create a quick, like, three-minute video clip just into Nightlight. You'll probably see that potentially in the next video. If you don't, it just doesn't get posted anywhere uh, to go over what's happening in this banner because uh, there is actually some weapons attached to this. Uh, we got 15, uh, two weeks just roughly, left of 
levelling up quickly in the bosses, but only five days left of seasonal Halloween event. Now that's actually important because yeah, you got your currencies down here, but that's not actually the really important currency. The important currency is down all the way down here at first anniversary event weapon exchange. Most people forget this exists. I'll be honest, I was one of them. If you are sat on some event medals, you can go through and pick up weapons that you may not have built before. Like for myself, I wasn't around during Thousand Waves. So I can say, do you know what? I need 11 copies. That gets me OB10. So purchase that through. That's now, I now have an OB10 Thousand Waves. I do recommend that people go through and check this out. Pick up what they need because we don't know if this is ever going to come back. We have had this a couple of times, but I do think eventually they're going to be like, yeah, if you didn't pick it up before, that's it. But yeah, that's all the actual news at the moment. There isn't much else to really talk about at the moment. Let us know what you think. Let us know if you think that we're correct about the suggestion that it's going to be a Final Fantasy VI collab. Um, we'll see you in the next video. Take care and goodbye.